so my name is Anandeep Singh and I go by the artist name Inquisitive and I'm here in Birmingham for the Labara Mella. So basically, um, I've been brought down by the bar to actually uh, produce a live art piece, and do two in actual fact, based on the theme of Bollywood and based on the theme of, um, you know, just, just bringing people together. And I felt like this Mela had such a wonderful, um, you know, it had so much flavour already with cultures and diversity and religions and backgrounds. It was going to be very hard not to be inspired. So I feel like I kind of prepped up an idea as to what I want to do. Um, and I'm kind of, you know, going to play around with it at the same time. I'm very spontaneous with my artwork, so uh, that is a plan of action, you know, in terms of artwork and in the day, you know, I'm hoping to meet uh, some people that are aware of my artwork and you know, interact with them because it's very crucial. Um, and get some feedback on the artwork as always throughout my journey is something that can be very beneficial. Yeah. It's important to interact with your audience, interact with people that are aware of your artwork, and I feel like. That's something that's always been fruitful in my life. Um, whether it's just a, a small, you know, uh, love your work, have you tried doing this, or if it's something just, hey, are you inquisitive? You know, it's, it's such a joy, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm someone that's started in my bedroom, you know, not having a studio and working away, um, to now having a global audience. It's so, it's such a pleasure to meet people that are actually aware of that. Say, hey, I've been there since day one, four years ago when we started. Um, and I feel like that, on that side, that's something I'm looking forward to. So with Labara, you know, working on like a Labara play and you know all this whole theatre, you know, I was thinking about Bollywood. And one of the questions, which is um, up there right now, to actually win one of the art pieces, is uh, uh, based on Bollywood. So I was kind of thinking of Bollywood, but I didn't want to do the whole typical, uh, you know, Indian actresses and actors. You know, as people are aware, I like to go a different route with things and, and dare to be different, which is one of my favourite taglines. Um, so I kind of was inspired by the whole, you know, India taxi, you know. Very funky, very colourful, very bright, and um, that's exactly what I did. And then after that, throughout that, you know, I was thinking about some, not some common films, but some films that maybe have been big hits in the past, um, and you know, intertwine those words coming out from a window of a taxi. Um, and, and you know, it's, it's a very, very creative piece, talking and having conversations with people at the same time, having that back of my head, you know, the Bollywood idea, the, the whole idea of it, you know, the, the theme, the theatre plays, and uh, La Barra as well. So. Um, there's a lot of inspiration which is going to be creating this piece and I feel like much of my work is spontaneous, you know, I could think of something on the spot and then just want to add it in, so uh, I like that as well, I feel like that's a gift and a surprise for me when I'm producing artwork. Uh, my most memorable part of day one, uh, I don't know, I feel like the second we got in it was, you know, it was fortunate people were recognising me and you know, like I said man, it's, it's something that's just a great joy, you don't really know what to expect at the end of the day, you go in to do a task, you know, my, my, my deliverance right now is to produce art piece with the team and everything else is a bonus and wonderful so you know I can't complain but I feel like it probably would have been you know I've had I've had some people create some personal pieces for me and I'm sitting like seeing myself and I'm like what is this going on what's going on someone's cloned me so it's a great joy it's a great pleasure man I feel like those those two moments in terms of you know interaction with the audience were my favorite now that day once you know done and we kind of got an experience as to what it's about, what it's like. Um, I feel like day two, I'm not too sure what to expect. You know, firstly, I hope the weather's going to hold it down for us. It's nothing worse than having like a rainy event. But like I said, you know, we've got a great interaction. We have a wonderful team. Um, no matter what happens, it's going to be a success. We're going to make this happen. Um, I'm looking forward to interacting with more people. I'm looking forward to interacting with, uh, you know, new people, new people that aren't aware of my artwork. Like I met so many wonderful people today that weren't aware of the artwork. It's always nice to uh, meet such and you know it's always refreshing so I'm looking forward to that the most um, and also looking forward to you know meeting some of my good friends in the industry who I haven't seen in some time so that's going to be good um, and yeah I think the experience of actually giving uh, an original away is going to be uh, somewhat uh, overwhelming because I hardly do that so I'm looking forward to actually handing it over to someone. I feel like this experience is going to affect my, my career in, in, in the sense that you know it's, it's always a challenge like I started off not being able to paint in front of anyone I always uh, stay in my room, shut my door, and, and do my thing, put my headphones on. And slowly, you know, doing events like this, I'm realizing that actually I'm coming out of my comfort zone, and that's only going to help me, you know, grow. I feel like it's a, it's a challenge, and you only grow from trying challenges. So I feel like, if anything, it's, it's making me a bit more adventurous. Um, so, you know, I didn't ever want to turn down events like this, you know. The contact from Labara, you know, is an amazing opportunity, and I'm very thankful for it. So, having that 
growth, having that challenge, having that whole experience is only going to help me for another event or another, you know, project that I get. Um, something I may have not been able to do two, three years ago. Um, so in terms of my career, that is probably something that's going to be intertwined with my personal, um, my, my, my personal life as well. I feel like not just within art, I feel like doing something as such can open you up in so many different avenues and ways. And um, I think it's just a, an amazing opportunity in, in the sense of having to paint in front of people. Um, and like I said, it's a massive challenge and everyone to do that. So that, that is the biggest one for me. And in terms of, you know, um, kind of realizing, another one is realizing uh, what your fan base is like, or I like to say my audience. Um, you know, you, you realize that at the end of the day, you're not just the person that sits in the studio and paints, you actually have people that actually um, come out and actually know who you are and know your artwork and can name the pieces and that's just helps your growth as well, you know, it kind of inspires you, gives you good energy and I think those two things are something I'm going to take back. Yeah, I feel like if I wanted to say or give a message out to, 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 to the audience right now, I would say, you know, honestly, it is based on comfort zones, you know, you need to get out of it. I feel like the biggest thing is actually growing, you know, you don't want to get too comfortable in life and just keep doing the same, same things. Like I said, I was never able to do these kind of events or even take a selfie with someone, you know, I was very cautious as to what I do, how I do it, but that was me planning too much and I feel like sometimes when you plan too much, things kind of just get evaporated or die out. And I feel like the more you're just a bit more raw with your things, raw with your journey, raw with expressions, you know, there's so much fruit within that and I feel like that's what I've learned from this journey, that's what I've learned from this uh, event and, you know, I'm, I'm going to be certainly down for something like this in the future. Hi, I'm Sarika and I just, I, I think this is just his eye, it's just so beautiful and he's just such an inspirational person. Um, hi, I'm Ochoa, I like his art because it's colourful and unique. So I want to say a massive thank you to the whole Labara team for having such a successful event. Also for including me in this event, you know, it's, it's always different having someone in the industry who is an artist, and by artist I don't mean rapper or a singer, but someone that actually paints as an artist. So it's a, it's a different experience for myself and, you know, hopefully Labara as well. So I really appreciate that. I want to also thank the whole Labara team behind this. Everyone's been so wonderful, backed me up, supported me. Uh, when I needed paints, when I needed a tissue, when I needed something, they always held it down. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I feel like it's a great idea to have, uh, you know, a camera which kind of, you know, is like my shadow and able to show what it's like to do um, a live art piece at an event. Um, and if you want to follow me and check me out, you know, you can find me at inquisitive.com or you can find me on all social medias at inquisitive. Thanks for watching.